right, with that, uh, let's take a look at your State of the Nation address highlights. If you weren't able to watch uh, that full speech, and of course, before, politicians uh, were saying that this had to be an address about power. Uh, given the fact that the power crisis has extended for longer than a decade, and the president has made many statements before, uh, so how do you convince a nation then that real action will be taken? It was different this time, uh, leading to some controversy. Let's just take a look. Uh, the national state of disaster declared with immediate effect. The Auditor General will monitor expenditure, and of course this uh, deals with the concerns around corruption because the supply chain uh, regulations are relaxed in a state of disaster. The President announced that there will be a Minister of Electricity. Now this is really interesting because right now we have a Minister of Minerals and Energy, Gwede Mantashe. He has been accused by some of not being fully on board with the just transition with renewable energy. Uh, so will this be an attempt uh, to remove him from those decision, uh, that decision making around ESCOM? Meanwhile, the Public Enterprises Minister remains the ESCOM shareholder. Um, so electricity may look at new sources of power. Of course, it's all a moot point if Gwede Mantashe himself becomes the Minister of Electricity. Uh, but there you go, you will have two ministers again, uh, which we already have and we've seen them sometimes at odds over the cause of the very crisis that we're facing. The Engineering Council to help and Treasury to assist, we're still waiting uh, to hear what will happen with regards to ESCOM's debt. Now let's look at infrastructure, another biggie. Uh, we've spoken about the infrastructure being dilapidated, about 50% uh, of South Africa's infrastructure failing or threatening to fail. So the President announcing a Transnet roadmap uh, and of course we've seen Transnet reach out to private partners uh, to help restore the rail network to help get locomotives on uh, the tracks and of course this will continue uh, to help to alleviate congestion on the roads. We've seen a lot of people uh, move to the roads because they have to because rail is simply not in shape for the freight that has to travel huge distances. Uh, talking about refurbishing, expanding the rail fleet, uh, fleet restructuring of Prasa and uh, the Transport Minister also reiterating that corridors are opening up. Uh, so some Soweto residents have benefited from that, saying that will continue. 600 million uh, spent will be spent in total on infrastructure projects, uh, not considering what's already been spent. Um, the president talking about billions. Now safety and security, another biggie. 10,000 new police recruits, uh, is that enough uh, given what we're hearing that hotspots are under-resourced, specialized kidnapping, extortion, illegal mining units, so focus on specialized units. The private sector partnership to boost 10 triple one, uh, so those calls are answered. More funding for the NPA and the Special Investigating Unit, a National Anti-Corruption Advisory Council. And of course, the National Prosecuting Authority has uh, set up uh, specific Specifically, looking at state capture, a unit uh, which looks like it will become permanent. So those are some of the highlights touching on infrastructure, power, the power crisis, huge, and safety and security. Well